Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Now, recently someone asked me when is the next tutorial, or perhaps a slightly different question, why so few tutorials lately? I started this channel five years ago pretty much just doing nothing but tutorials, whereas in the past few weeks I've definitely not done that many. I've been mainly doing just some more general talking advice videos. So here let me explain why that is, how I organize my work, how I plan things, what I'm currently prioritizing, and what types of videos you can expect from me in the future. Now, like I said in my reply to this comment, the answer is actually very simple. Lately, I've been working hard on my game, so I really haven't had much time to make tutorials, especially since those videos usually take dozens of hours to make. Honestly, I have to say I have greatly underestimated the amount of time and effort that it would take to make a game and keep the channel running at the same time. Back in March, I generally thought that I could work on this game and keep making videos while also working on some complex tutorials and even make some courses in the meantime. Looking back, it seems so obvious that that is just way too much work and not really possible, but back then I generally believed that I could do that. This year I did start to work with some editors, but I still do about 80-90% to 90 of the work. So for the most part behind this channel, the videos, the games, the courses, the everything, really most of it is still just me. So looking back, I was definitely quite crazy to think that I could do all of this at the same time. I guess this is a nice teaching moment. Even though I'm already quite experienced, I've been making games for decades. Even with all that experience, I still grossly underestimate how long something takes. So if you yourself go over your own estimates, then don't be too hard on yourself. Estimating how much effort and time something takes is an extremely difficult skill, and one that is very difficult to get, as you can see I still don't have it. But anyways, yes, so like I said here, my answer is simply I can't do everything, I need to prioritize what videos I work on, and right now I'm enjoying working on the game, and I really think this has the potential to do quite well, so I'm very excited to work on the game. And in order for the game to find success, I'm working both hard on the game to make the game actually great, but I'm also trying to gather as many wishlists as possible to ensure a successful launch. The game is currently on 3000 wishlists, which is a pretty decent amount. My hope is to be able to hit something like 5000 by release date, which right now the release date is tentatively set for October 2nd, so just a bit over a month to get there. With that in mind, when it comes to choosing what videos to make, I am prioritizing things that might get more views, and importantly, videos where I can also mention my game in a way that makes sense. The reality is that tutorials, I really enjoy making them, I really enjoy researching something and teaching it, but whilst I do enjoy making them, they are simultaneously some of the most time-consuming videos to make, while also being the ones that get fewer views. And that's fine, I'm okay with that, but it does make it tricky to justify making it in times like these, where I have a very, very limited amount of time. A tutorial can take anywhere from 10 to 100 hours to make depending on complexity. For example, something like how to control Cinemachine through code, that video was pretty simple, so that might have taken just about 10 hours. Whereas, for example, the tutorial on how to use Azure to make five really interesting game mechanics, that one was really interesting, I definitely loved all the research and learning all about the cloud and how to work with it. In total, I probably spent over 100 hours just researching that and making that video. But for those 100 hours of work, as you can see, the end result is just 15k views. Which again, like I said, I'm perfectly okay with that. I've been doing this for long enough that I do know that tutorials will not do as well as different formats, and I'm okay with that. I absolutely do not regret those 100 hours that I spent researching and making this video. Personally, I really enjoyed researching a brand new area. The video has gotten just 4 views in the last 48 hours, and I really hope those 4 people really learned a lot from this video. But on the other hand, a more talking video, something like this one, all about when to polish your game, making this video to something like 10 hours, so much much less than the other tutorial. And the more important part is what I mentioned a while ago, which is one of the reasons why I made this video was because I was going through this polish process in my own game, which again allowed me to mention the game in the video, and hopefully some of these people that watched it, some of them added the game to their wishlist. That's pretty much my priority right now, do more general videos that don't take as much time so I can keep working on the game, and choose video topics where I can somehow include a mention of my game to hopefully gather wishlists, so that hopefully the final release in October, that one finds success. Like I said, I started this channel over 5 years ago mainly with just tutorials. My main goal was sharing the knowledge that I had gained from making all of my games, and I very much still want to keep doing that. I love researching things and making videos explaining what I learned, I'm constantly getting ideas for things that I'd love to cover. For example, just last month I was playing Desperados 3 and I thought it would be really fun to make a really detailed video on something like a stealth enemy AI. I also thought about making a gold currency system that many games use. I'd like to make a simple online chat, I'd like to make a simple video on netcode for game objects in 2D, maybe a video on how to control time, something on covering multi-threading basics. So you can see I have certainly no issue with lack of ideas for tutorial topics. Eventually with enough time I do hope to get through all of these. And of course, I've been a huge fan of DOT since it was first announced. For the past few years, I've always thought to myself, okay, so I'm basically just waiting for version 1.0, and when that comes out, I want to do tons of tutorials on DOTs. But then, 1.0 finally came out, and it's exactly while I'm in the middle of all this work. 
So I have done some research on the 1.0 version, but I haven't yet managed to do a video on that. And I also do want to keep experimenting with these more general talking opinion videos. I think these can also be extremely useful in a non-technical way, since there's so much about game development that is not necessarily technical. So these are definitely topics that I'd love to talk some more about. In the end, I do want to keep making tutorials and general talking videos while also making complete courses and my own games, but there's really just no time to do all of that at exactly the same time. And somewhat related, I'm also currently training to hopefully run my first marathon, so that also means a bit less time to work on projects. I really wish I had a time machine. So in general, in the near future, until the game comes out in early October, chances are there's not going to be too many tutorials. There will be some, especially if I can find some way to relate them to the game, but definitely not too many. My main focus right now is really just working on the game and getting it finished by the deadline. I'm also trying to do some dev vlogs and some general talking videos where I can mention the game to hopefully gather some wishlists. That's pretty much my current set of priorities. Then, after the game is out, in late October, after that, you can definitely expect new tutorials, perhaps new complete courses, and perhaps even free courses. I've got a bunch of ideas that I'd love to try out. Like I said, I've got lots of things on my mind, lots of stuff that I'd love to create to hopefully help you on your own game dev journey. I really just need time to be able to do all of that. Alright, so I hope this video helped clarify how I organize my schedule and what my plan is for the near future. Go ahead and add my game to your wishlist. I wish you the best of luck with your own games, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.